Hey guys, and welcome back. Today's video is on the aftermath of encampment, kind of. So recently I went to the Texas Queen Winter Encampment, and I was the Kilo Flight Sergeant. It was my first time staffing, and I was in charge of 11 basics. It was a really amazing experience. It lasted from, I want to say December 27th to January 4th? Yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, there was amazing staff, and I had an amazing time. It really did change my perspective on what CAP is and how I act in CAP. But a few of my quick tips on encampment are, one, bring a clipboard. Most people had one, and I had two, actually. But even buying one and investing in one of those, like, I think you know what they are. They're like clipboards, but you can open them up. We had a lot of people. We had 18 people from Michigan, actually. And they all had them. And I was just like, wow, I really wish I'd brought those. Number two, multiple flashlights. We had a slogan called Do It For Durr, or D-I-F-D, DIFT. And a part of that was you always had a flashlight when you were outside, and so many kids lose theirs and bring extra ponchos. I wouldn't suggest bringing like extra blue shirts and extra stuff like that, just because there's a whole lot of stuff that like, you just can't. I brought extras, and the only thing I would suggest is blues covers, BDU covers, those are good things to have. Extra jackets if it's winter, extra gloves if it's, but like, extra like BDUs, I don't think you need those. Extra blues, uniforms, extra shoes, no need to try. Another thing is make sure you really press your uniform beforehand and make that uniform nice and crisp because once you're there, you never have enough time. I cannot stress that enough. They say you might get breaks, but in reality, you might not. You may have a great flight commander, you might not. You may get sleep, you might not, because I got like five hours, or probably a little less than five hours. Um, another thing is bring tons of pens. I brought like a handful, and I lost them, because I'm walking around and I'm marching flights and stuff like that, and I just didn't have time to keep track of them. I had like a handful in my pocket, because I just grab one and I lose it, and then I grab one and lose it. It was a vicious cycle. Another thing, bring cough drops. Or not cough drops, but anything that will help you not lose your voice, or if you lose your voice, get your voice back quickly. Because I lost my voice on like day four, and it was gone for five, six, seven. It was gone the rest of the time. Maybe it was before day four, but it was bad. Jodies. I suggest bringing lots of Jodies, even if like you don't know the tune to them. Running Jodies, marching Jodies. Really make sure you bring those, because I only brought two. And my flight commander had a few memorized, but I really wish we had a lot more. When going into encampment, I suggest that you have a good attitude, even if you've previously hated your staff or worked with them before, because honestly, there's not a whole lot you can do to change. If you have bad training officers, attack officers, there's not a whole lot you can change. So you just gotta kind of have to go into it with a good attitude and hope that everything comes out good, because in the end, you just never really know. And you end up spending a week with these people, so you don't have any Facebook friends afterwards, but you're going to get pretty close. My last and final tip is enjoy yourself. Really have fun. Embrace the time that you have there. Oh, but I had an amazing experience, and it really inspired me to want to go to more wing conferences and CTEPs, cadet training and education programs, to go to other states' encampments. It really is an amazing experience that you can't get anywhere else. You're bonding with friends, you're growing your CAP education, you're learning things that you didn't know before. It's cheap, relatively, and once you go to one, you learn all this knowledge that you bring back to your own squadron. You have all these stories you can tell, like we shaved a guy's head. I just, there are so many stories that I could tell you that this video would be forever long. I just urge you, and if you're a basic watching this video, encampment is not that bad. It really is not. So, those are my tips. I hope that you enjoy them, and I hope you learn something from them. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!